Okay. Oh god, this is so stupid. I broke up with Finn. I don't know why I'm calling you, but... I, um... You've always been there. <laughs> Whenever I had arguments with him, and no matter how trivial they were... <laughs> you listened. <sighs> Looking back on it, I feel like shit. I barely even talked to you about anything if it wasn't about my relationship and its problems. <laughs> and here I am, doing it again. <sighs> It was something you said last week. I was crying to you about Finn. How he never hugged me, never kissed me, never touched me anymore. You told me, and I think I could see your feelings brimming in your mind before you even expressed them. You told me how beautiful I was. You told me that the kisses that he wasn't giving me were arrows in the heart of Aphrodite. That the touch I was deprived of had God herself banging on the gates of heaven, shouting at me to just wake up. Gosh, I, I never heard anything so beautiful before. I, I I cried even harder. It must have hurt you when I left that day to go back to him. But that afternoon, I, all I got was silent treatment from the man who was supposed to love me. And all I could think about was how you would kiss me if we were together. How you would hug me. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you would actually touch me. Finn walked up to me in that moment. He looked me in the eyes and he must have seen what I was thinking because he started another argument about you. I got up and I left. I couldn't, I couldn't stand the thoughts I was having and he was forcing me to confront them and even right now my hand is hovering over the delete button. <sighs> I went back today. He wasn't home and I packed my stuff up in boxes as tears streamed down my face. I tried to be quick. I wanted to leave with my stuff before he arrived, but he came home. He didn't even say anything to me. He saw me folding on my clothes and he didn't say anything. That's what hurt the most, I think. He walked back out of the apartment and I, I finished packing up. I'm at my parents' house right now, in my old bedroom. I still have that <laughs> old swing in the back garden. When we were kids, you would, um, you would jump off of it mid-swing and always <laughs> scrape your knees. But I remember the first aid kit being on a table in the garden every time you came over, just in case. <laughs> I'd give anything just to sit with you in that garden again. I'd give anything to have you here. I know that I'm going to regret this, but 
would give anything for you to touch me. The way I wanted Finn to. The way I've thought about so many times before. You cross my mind <laughs> a lot more often nowadays. When I rang you and you didn't pick up, I, I think I sat staring at the wall for a bit, just playing out what I wanted to happen in my head. I wanted you to pick up the phone and hear me cry. I wanted you to drive over here faster than probably legal. I wanted you to cuddle me, to kiss me, to help me forget about the rest of the world for the rest of our lives. I crave your attention. I yearn for your touch. I'm so mad at you for not picking up. <laughs>